The hero of the One World, One Soul project is the cosmic consciousness, the Earth consciousness, which contains the entire planet in its whole and is also a part of a larger space society. Physically, this form of life is so massive that it cannot be perceived by man because of its size. Therefore, the point of contact is a soul that has no physical boundaries. The image of the soul is a bird, not an ordinary bird but a mythical one, a physical manifestation of an incorporeal substance. At the same time, it is as huge as an entity that contains it. The complete visualization of the soul bird is neither possible nor necessary. The scale could be hinted at by showing its parts. In this project, we introduced the feathers of this bird of the soul as objects of contact. These are transformational environmental objects. In this way, the symbol of a feather of the cosmic bird is suggested as an emblem of the cosmic meta culture. In the environment, we find an object that gives us impetus to study it. We approach, we touch, we consider it. The object communicates with us. It gives the impression of being alive, a mysterious alien creature or part of it. It pulses, broadcasts incomprehensible information via using light, movement and sound. We find the key that helps us to decode this information, presented in the form of a QR code located on the entrance of the object. We activate it and see a finger archetypically resembling a bird on the screen. It symbolizes consciousness, passing through a series of transformations in different environments and forms, passing from one form to another in a spiral of evolution. We enter the pavilion and observe the gallery of the souls. Looking at the winged mirror, one can try on different layers of consciousness, while remaining oneself at the same time. The desired effect, the feeling of togetherness, is achieved through visually combining one's reflection with images of various creatures or entities. I used to the fire, burning hot. I used to the water, and I used to the air. I used to the stone, heavy and solid. I balanced all the elements inside myself and became a cell, living, growing. I used to be a flower and then grew and grew and grew and when I blossomed, I blossomed into a fish, fast and sleek and salty, and the seas I swam through. I used to be different creatures, growing ever more complex with each iteration. And then I became human and wanted to know what is up there in the head above. So, I became a butterfly. I became a butterfly, but my fragile wings could not carry me high up. So, I became a bird. I became a bird flying high among the wings and clouds, but even sky was not enough. I started growing again, bigger and bigger, expanding my borders, embracing more taking in more and more of the world into myself. I became islands, I became mountains, continents even. And I wanted more still. I wanted to connect all the things inside myself. And so I became the planet. Then I became the solar system and then I became the galaxy. And then I grew and grew and grew until I contained everything. I am all things together and each thing separately, just as you are. I am consciousness, and I have no boundaries, no limits, no matter which form I take, and I want to reveal myself in you.